Hi, my name is Sean. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, I'm lately I've been really jonesing for real Star Wars, like classic 1980s stuff that I grew up with, with the original trilogy, all the excitement and the products that came out with it. So I'm going to take a look at this Empire Strikes Back coloring book, uh, very colorful stuff, and um, let's take a look. All right, first up is this colorful Darth Vader and Stormtroopers picture. This is awesome. I love the color of the red here. Um, this, of course, has some French on it because it was likely sold in Canada. Uh, Kenner made a lot of these. Uh, Kenner made more than just the toys. So if you're a real completist and you want all the Kenner Star Wars, you're going to have to buy these coloring books and other things. Um, some of them were uh, Kenner and General Mills, as we're going to see. Uh, so let's dive into this. I don't know how much coloring was done in these coloring books. Some here. Um, so a lot of these were scenes from the movie, and sometimes they depict the movie itself, just like the, the story of it. Here's a Tauntaun. And um, looks like a Han Solo to me. What's great about these made by Kenner is that they're on model to the action figures that they made too. But this Tauntaun looks a, a lot more detailed. Luke searches for the enemy probot, so it's Luke. So here it's telling a version of Star Wars. Rebel Hangar. With all the snow speeders and stuff. And here we've got R2 with a periscope. Um, yes, he had this in the swamp, I remember. I don't know if he had it in Hoth. Uh, R2 tries to locate Master Luke. The Force aids Luke. I like how it has a little ring here, very 70s. Um, you would attach that to a utility belt. Uh, someone tried to color in all these uh, little um, details on, on uh, Leia here and on her screen. So here is uh, a scene from Hoth. Han Solo and Princess Leia have located Luke. And here's a little love scene. Well, it's this where they have the little quarrel in the uh, corridor there. Here's Darth Vader. Looking a little scrunch face, but that's okay. Darth Vader speaks with the Emperor. Of course, back then the Emperor uh, was not as defined as it is today. This is a great shot of Darth Vader. I don't know how many different colors of gray and black you'd, you'd need to color this. Imperial Adats march toward the rebel base. Yes, I said Adats. Uh, the Kenner... Um, uh, commercials for the uh, the vehicle play sets call them ADATs, so I always call them ADATs. Here, uh, Snowspeeder is uh, tackling one of the ADATs, uh, probably the one piloted by Wedge. I think Jansen was the uh, gunner there. And this is a great shot of all the ADATs attacking. It's cool stuff. Another Hoth balancing. Hoth was the best. Like, I mean, it's not the whole movie, but they made so many progs for this. The Rebels successfully destroy an ad at. Narrow escape for Luke Skywalker. I had this thing as a toy. It was so awesome. Um, lots of great um, uh, different play environments for it. You could take out the train. You have a whole other environment. It's so good. That's the um, the rebel transport. Here are all the, uh, the the star destroyers. Darth Vader's fleet of destroyers. This is cool. Everyone's escaping in the uh, Millennium Falcon. Han Solo navigates through an asteroid belt. So now we're into the middle of the movie. More asteroid belt stuff. Of course, the big worm. The Millennium Falcon escapes from a giant space slug. I love when these things told a story. <laughs> it's not much of a story, but... Here's Dagobah. Luke lands on Dagobah. All this stuff is great fodder for coloring books. Um, Dagobah has all these weird rooty um, trees and stuff. Here you got a sludged up uh, R2-D2. All messy. Here's a great shot of Yoda. You say, you say Yoda. That's my, my Yoda. Everyone has their terrible impression of Yoda, right? I am Yoda. Yoda I am, it should say, but it doesn't. 
know that heads for home. I cannot teach him. The boy has no patience. Teach him, I cannot. Patience, not uh, whatever. I'll, I'll try. <laughs> I tried to translate it more into Yoda ease. Some great shots of Yoda. This is awesome stuff to color. If you're a kid. Here's uh, Luke and his uh, his um, like vest and everything, which he never really made a figure of. Backpack Yoda. Another great shot of Yoda. Here's a uh, Yoda on top of uh, well that sounds bad on top of Luke. Um, ba Luke's balancing him. Uh, it was the Force, yes. Vader confronts. Uh, well, Luke confronts Vader in the cave. See all the stuff from from the movie. Luke tries to raise his ship from the swamp. Here's Yoda teaching Luke. Yoda using his force powers as depicted by lines to raise the X-Wing. Yoda raises Luke's X-Wing fighter. Who didn't have one of these? I don't know how many X-Wing fighters uh, Kenner sold back then. A Falcon approaches the Cloud City of Bespin. Another great environment to color. There's Bespin with the cloud car thing. Here's Billy D. Williams. Lando Calrissian greets Princess Leia. I had this Leia. Mostly, it was the uh, the best been uh, gown Leia. Chewbacca discovers his dis disassembled friend. So you got to color in C three PO as a disassembled robot. Here's the X wing fighter in space. They don't have the big argument or anything because you know we're in a color there, and it's heading towards Bespin. With Darth Vader and the big dinner scene. Here is the, uh, the big scene where Han Solo gets turned to carbonite. Here's an Ognaught. Um, more stormtroopers. Uh, Chewie with uh, C-3PO on his back here. Han Solo is lowered into the carbon freezing chamber. Dun dun dun. And here he is in carbonate. You get to color him in. <laughs> and here's Luke staking out the joint here. And here it is. The, um, I can't remember what they call it now. The slave one. But it's, um, what do they call it? Like, Sea spray or star spray or some weird thing. Boba Fett slave one takes off. It's there in writing. There you go. Here's Vader versus Luke. Pretty cool stuff. I think this is when he tries to uh, uh, carbon freeze him. Someone tried to color this in. Got the uh, the saber colors right. I like the um, the splash of yellow here, uh, and they got like. Vader's uh, cape and everything. Luke and Vader in a lightsaber duel. Luke gets thrown out of this window here. Luke is hurled through the viewpoint window. And here's the famous uh, I am your father. Join me and together we can rule the galaxy. That was in most uh, magazines and stuff as, as what he's telling Luke here. I have a magazine somewhere that uh, recaps all of Empire Strikes Back, and that's what he says there. So here's Luke making a choice, and here's Luke making his choice. <laughs> there you go. Um, they don't show his arm, his hand cut off anywhere, but it's depicted here. Luke falls down the reactor shaft. See, back then they didn't care. It's like, you know what? His hand's chopped off. It's in the coloring book. <laughs> that's what's happening.
who hanging on for dear life, Millennium Falcon escapes from Bespin. Dun, dun. They don't show the rescue, but I mean, if you saw the movie, you know. So here's Luke and his fake hand. 21B operates on Luke's wound. At least they named 21B. I had him as a, as a kid. And here someone tried to color these in. Uh, the last shot of Empire Strikes Back. I hope you enjoyed this stroll down memory lane with this Empire Strikes Back coloring book. Till next time, take care.